Hey everybody, it's Noon here, back with episode 10 of our campaign as the command in Anbanar. And we are just saving up some money to get a mission going. Assuming that we stay ahead in uh, admin tech there. Which I think we will. Uh, sure, I'm not gonna... Eh. Whatever, let's pay the 10 admin. We don't have um, high Mari tolerance yet, so um, I think we should... Uh, Invest a small amount in that. If you guys could just reinforce real quick, that would be great. Only 85 being used. Maybe I should have taken the other the other reform. Why are we getting so little supply here? I'm not really sure. Does it help if I mean we're in the capital, you'd think that would be the place where the supply is the most efficient. But uh, apparently not. All right, mission fulfilled. Centralized exploitation. Our constant campaigns mean the demand for weapons and armor has never been higher, and as such, our need for more efficient production has increased tremendously. We cannot suffice with what the conquered built. We must build new smithies and foundries across our, across our domain and centralize their production process such that everyone is attuned to the war room's latest needs. So we gain 10 production spread out in our provinces with workshops. All right. I mean, I could kind of game this and delete a bunch of workshops, but, uh, no. Nah, let's just do it. It's fine. Wait. There's a center of reformation? Somewhere? Hmm. Oh, here. Alright, well, that's unfortunate, but, uh, we should smash through that pretty quick anyway. Come on, get your last dudes. All right, now we can turn our maintenance down and get someone better here. Um, I mean, whatever. Production efficiency is fine. All right, so I think we're just waiting for a new campaign to be called. I don't really know how that works. Is it a decision? Nope, it is not a decision. Oh, right, okay. We get we get this war room thing. Okay, cool. Um, so, we could do Dujat. Just down here. We could do Zhao Da, which is over here. Or we could do Governage, which is here. Hmm. Now these guys are going to be a bit more difficult. That's not the end of the world. I feel like we've kind of worked our way over this way a little bit. I'm tempted to go somewhere else. That feels a bit much. Is this Kiras bid? Yeah, so we'll have to go pretty far in this direction for that. Yeah, let's go Boar Command. Why not? Alright. So we can prepare the troops here. Manpower 40k, generals at least 3, get 10 legitimacy. Thank you. Yeah, oh, how old's our dude? 34. Alright, yeah, yeah, we'll just take that now. Battle of Shanyatan. Alright. So, we just have to be at war with Zhang Lu Si. We have claims all over here. So, if we were to declare on these guys, all of them would come in. But, uh, I mean, we just absolutely outnumber them dramatically. We're also ahead on Miltech. In some cases, fairly dramatically, and Bian Fang would join. Uh, I am going to set all of these to. Oh, I actually don't have claims on these ones. That's quite weird. I don't know why not, but I'm going to set all of these as vital interests, um, which should at least moderately reduce the likelihood that Bian Fang takes them. 
All right. Will they still come to war with us is the question. They will. All right. Well, let's turn up our army maintenance. Let's also have a look at army quality. Jean Oop, excuse me. Jean Lucy. So we're ahead in morale. We're ahead in discipline. We're ahead in everything. All right. We, we should just absolutely crush them is the impression that I'm getting here. What's our force limit? Yeah, we can do a bit better. Lose legitimacy or gain legitimacy. Um, it would be nice to re reduce the uh, the tension, but we just need that legitimacy real bad. So I'm going to do that. Um, now this is always an interesting an interesting question. Because technically 50 Diplo power is half price for a mercantilism, but we kind of don't really care about our mercantilism that much. And we do care about getting our Diplo tech, but let's lose it. Oh, and uh, colonialism has spawned. All right. So we should think about trying to get that. Let's take one of these off. Where am I? Oh, let's also have a look at this. Um, there's no way that we can get without rebels. Let's just uh, let's just take the rebels. Doesn't matter. Um, development, development. All right. So the cheapest place to develop is in Gilapur, which is Gilapur here. Okay, it's actually legitimately quite cheap, um, and it's in a useful place, I think. And we do have a lot of points. We're very close to getting these, but we don't want to spend 25 to get there. Let's take our idea. And then let's dev in Gilapur. It's also uh, cloth, which is a nice thing to develop. And we have the prosperity. Dev cost minus 10%. Um, let us go hog wild. This is also good for our legitimacy. If I'd known I was about to do this, I probably would not have... I, I would have lost that five legitimacy, but it's fine. All right. Um... We do lose a claim here, but we've got a million other claims, so I don't think that matters. Let's renounce it, it's fine. We want to get rid of this uh, monstrousness, Mon monstrosity, I guess is the, uh, is the word. By the way, thank you everyone who uh, a couple of episodes ago gave me feedback on the, um, the audio levels, uh, that was very helpful. Um, I, I may have kept mentioning it um, because I record these sort of in bulk, um, but uh, yeah, that that was that was useful and appreciated. Oh, we are quite low on manpower actually. I mean, we're still crushing them. Sure. So we're just gonna go to war with all of these guys. What's our coalition situation? Yeah, it's pretty bad, but um, if we can take quite a few of these. That will be helpful. Okay, and we can grant these commissions. <laughs> That's ironic. We actually can't complete this until they already have their loyalty that they would get from completing it. It's funny. It seems like a uh, small design flaw. Let's do that, and let us declare, and we will call in Bien Fang, even though we don't really need it. Hopefully, uh, they take the brunt of the attacks, and um, we'll be fine. Wait, we fully gave up our claim on that. That's very funny. Um, 
I guess I will still use that as the CB because it might give us a discount that we otherwise wouldn't get. Um, so let's do that. All right, start this, get 10 legitimacy, uh, which gets transformed into monarch power. I think I'm actually gonna wait until we have less legitimacy, uh, unless I really wanna take the next ones. Control 20, Control Jadao. All right. Now, you have a lot of claims here, so I'm actually going to You're going to get there on the 8th. We would get there on the 12th. All right, so that's going to be too late. So we'll just take this one. And you're going to do the same. Come down here. Leaving two, even though that's not strictly necessary. Do you have claims on this? You do not. All right. Yeah, we just uh, really don't want our allies taking any of the land. Because uh, they might be good allies, but we are not. And we have never pretended to be. We do have to just watch out that we're not going to get jumped on by enemies here. Not too worried about it. Okay. Okay, nice. So, as we hoped, they're attacking our allies rather than us. One loves to see it. like they'll get that one. It's fine. Can't get everything that you want. According to a Rolling Stones song I had one time. Okay, good shouldn't you see. Oh, it looks like they're not actually taking this, which is great. Perfect. Okay. They're attacking our allies, which is ideal. I don't think we can get there in time. Plus, I don't really want to help them. So, just come over here. Okay, that's nice. Well, this is all going great. Oh, I did not turn down the speed. I actually will do that, even though this is all going fine. Um, because I don't want to make any silly mistakes. Now, this is our other guy with cannons. Just come on down here. Siege of Yongning. That's awesome. Come on down to these guys' capital. Wait. Okay, they're Liberty Desire. Alright, that's fine. Okay, this guy can only go to silly places. That's fine, we'll let them do that. Nice. Love that starting a siege at 0%. It's 
in some ways feels more realistic than what normally happens. <laughs> um, yeah, it's fine. Okay, our allies are being fucking idiots. Which is a shame. Uh, morale and shock damage. That's unfortunate. Um, it's only five years. Should be fine. Yeah, our allies are being very silly. Losing a lot of very unnecessary fights. Oops, that's what I wanted. Simple terrain. Jungle, hills, hills. All of this is farmland. That's woods. Alright. Yeah, they're getting wrecked. They're gonna get pieced out pretty soon, is my my thought. have any forts on any kind of useful terrain they do not that is very silly of them and they're getting what they deserve for it I mean I guess it's not their fault that the game spawns them in with a bunch of farmland but you know and there are benefits to that um, let's actually switch this guy out for morale I kind of wouldn't mind getting the uh, inflation reduction as well let's do that Okay, another siege successful. Still can't get there for weird game reasons. I guess come on down here. Oh, good work, Blackstep. You got Renaissance just uh, five decades late. No, wrong one. You, without the cannons. don't really want to get caught by these guys. Let's see what they're doing. Hills is minus one. Jungle is minus one. Okay. Alright. Well, I guess come here. Doesn't really matter. bad. Let's get our backup. Okay. Ooh, what terrain is that? Urban. Okay, okay. That's actually useful. Come on. Whoops. No. Damn it. Oh, that's so annoying. Wasted that siege. Oh, well. OK. 
Okay, they're getting out of there. Is this a good idea? Let's see what happens. Okay, they're locked in. Doesn't look like anyone's reinforcing them. So we should be all Gucci here. Alright. In that case, you come up here. Okay, peace offer from Tidtum. Isn't that a type of biscuit? Alright. We don't have claims here. Don't get anything for pillage. They kind of suck. Sure, whatever. It does actually reduce our war score. Um, so there's reasons not to do that, but... Hey, we wiped him. You love to see it. What's this? Farmlands. Ooh. They're reinforcing there. Seem okay, nice. They're not reinforcing. Perfect. Um fifty admin power or ten legitimacy. Um Preposterous. Actually, that reminds me. Let's keep developing, because we want to do this ASAP. Nice. Foster growth. Switch to advancement efforts. How fast is that going? One, three per month. Two per month. Alright. Alright, it's going pretty fast. Yes, and you say that the advancement effort is useless, even though it is clearly not. Um, yeah, I'll just leave it on the one for the moment. Can we still not? Okay, we can't go there. Okay, boys, head on over. Uh, I don't think we really want to desiege this. Okay, so we do have to do it before we finish the war. Okay, that's very funny. Uh... Play powerful legitimacy. Um, sure. I'll take the diplo debt. Got some rebels. Yep, that makes sense. Makes sense to me. Now, don't really want to fight these guys on hills where they're defenders. Siege, that's nice. Is there anywhere here that we do want to fight them? Yeah. Not really. We're at 64%. Oh wow. We're at war with a bunch of dudes. <laughs> okay, they're far away. That makes sense. Okay, and now they're stepping into land where we do want to attack them. Yep, 
Yeah, fucking get him. Get him, bro. I'll probably cut them off there. see how much we can take for a hundred war score. Okay, we can full annex them easily. Get that gold prevalence, maybe? Um... What if instead we took more of this area? Just because the areas are a useful way of doing it. We could also try and take this. Ninety-five. Alright. Looks pretty doable. get him. No, we don't need both. Nice. Thinking about reinforcing and thinking better of it. It's great. <sighs> Come on. Come help our guys. Oh, we're not going to get there in time, are we? guys, okay. Pez ring these guys. We don't really want anything from them. Can we white piece them? Yes. We can even take some money. Oh, they're a lesser partner, of course. Uh, okay. And the other people who we can negotiate with are still into it. Which is annoying. Guys, shoot yet. Okay. General has died. It's irritating. Uh, okay, now we'll be defending there. That's not ideal. Come on over here, my guy. No, not that. Come on. Okay, you're medium now. And you're not contributing much to our war score. 230. Alright. We don't actually want to be sieging that. 
What? We can't go anywhere? <laughs> That's weird. That's very weird. And also, quite annoying. Alright, and those guys are getting chunked. This guy's almost completely useless without a general or any um, artillery. Might as well keep him there, I guess, until we get around. Coming white PCU. Minus 33. Alright. Okay, those guys are having rebels. Not ideal for us. It's not a huge issue. It's not ideal. I love you use, like, you can't get there from here logic. I always think it's quite funny. Sure, sure, sure. Don't really care about the peasants. Horozuki Lionborn is actually dope as heck. It's great. Well, dope as heck might be a bit strong, but... And you know what? We are going to come mess with these peasants. How are we doing on this 100% war goal? These guys are down here. Alright. Ah, oh, all of that. Yeah, okay. That checks out. Alright, I reckon I will call it there for this episode. Uh, thank you all so much for watching, and uh, yeah, I'll catch you in the next episode.